Happy Friday. I'm Lisa and I'm here to share with you a great book that I just finished reading. It is William Kent Kruger's latest book, The River That We Remember. The River We Remember. Wow, that's a tongue twister. The River We Remember. <laughs> Uh, I really, I really enjoy this writer. He's a great storyteller. I've read a couple of his other books that you've also might have read. This Tender Land and Ordinary Grace. Uh, this book is set in small town Jewel, Minnesota in Black Earth County, uh, mid fifties. Uh, it's, it's a great book at the center of it is a murder and a mystery. Uh, one of the local rich landowners that not many people in the town care for is murdered uh, and his body is found in the Alabaster River and the story centers around the local sheriff and the people of Jewel and who killed this man. Um, I will say the one thing I struggle with this story is there's a lot of characters and they all have similar backstories and then they have nicknames. So at the beginning of the book, I found myself going back a little bit and kind of refreshing about who's who, but I'm telling you, stick with the book. It's a great, great story uh, and the characters are very lovable. Uh, at least some of them are. And um, I really, really liked reading this book. He has uh, does a nice job of uh, making this chapters uh, short and they always end with a bit of intrigue and they you just want to keep reading. So you look forward to the next time you can sit down with your book and read. Uh, and this this is a really good one. It's uh, historical fiction. It's a bit of a love story. Uh, it's a little bit of um, a mystery. Uh, it also talks a lot about life after war. Uh, there's a lot of characters in here that have seen um, the effects of war, been on the battlefields, and, and how they came back to life and, and what that looked like for them. Um, so it's just a great book. Uh, it's also available on Libby. So if you like to read or listen to a book uh, digitally, that option is there. And then we have this copy here in our library. Thank you for your time. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.